Hey there, this is the Brosis Effect. I'm Nicole, this is Michael. We are back with another video today where we will be doing a tier list. So this is a tier list I found on Tier Maker. It says David Firth, Salad Fingers, all characters. So I guess we will have to remember the characters, but this one is a smaller this one. This is a lesson. nice small one, so we can spend a little more time remembering, but it shouldn't take too long. This tier list has S being, you know, the top best tier, A, B, C, and D. And then it lists all the, you know, main characters from Salad Fingers and some of the, the guest characters as well. So, before we start, we should kind of set uh, a precedence for how what these ranks mean to us is s most favorite to d least favorite like how are we gonna rank yes these? s is like super like we a, really like yeah them. so it's gonna go you know a b c d is normal rankings and then s is like that's super ranking and d is like eh. d is like almost failing yeah like they just they didn't add any value or we just are like eh, we don't really like you so that's how we're going to rank this tier list. You are definitely welcome to get this tier list yourself and do your own version. Or tell us how stupid you think we are for now, doing it the way you want it. I'm just going to start off and say that Salad Fingers himself is not an S. He will be... He an, has been quite a jerk. He can be at most an A. He's not going to get that S. I think we should save him because I really don't know how I feel. And maybe going through the other characters will like shed more light and remind us of some of the things he pulled on some of these characters. So let's start with someone we know the is kid. S. Okay, so Who, Huber, Huber Cumberdale, Cumberdale is, an S. is S. He is the man. We he is the star of the show. We should scroll through and see who we're going to all put as S's first. I, he up. is my favorite. Is there any other character that you really, uh, really love? I loved? don't think there's going to be another character that will make it into the S spot. I don't. Okay. I really... I, I really Alright, for now, it's Hubert. So yes, let's go with what we thought was a granny. The granny in the first episode. But it was but a kid. It, it, it's I, a kid that you baked. No, that's not the kid he baked. This is the kid he baked. Oh. Oh, I don't know what the yellow one is. <laughs> you remember when he... It's like from the first episode with the spoon. And he goes to the house. It's I think he called her Granny. I don't know. We're going to uh, just call her not, Granny. Not super important, but uh, it's memorable enough so they can go as a C. I would, I would vote C. I'm fine with it. It matches yellow, yellow. Um, I, the other two finger puppets deserve an A. Yes, we have Jeremy Fisher, and oh, her name changed constantly. Mar Margaret. Was it Margaret? Uh, Crap! I'm mad at myself that I can't remember her name. I don't know. It's been it's been over a year since we've reacted to the last one, hasn't? All well, right, it's been since I. 2021. I need to I need to look this up. Mm -hmm. Salad fingers finger puppets. Marjorie Stewart Baxter. Marjorie Why? is close enough. Why did I forget? I did say Margaret. That's pretty close. I okay, so Margaret. Margaret and Jeremy. The little boy deserves a B because he got cooked. A B for the cooked boy. I mean, he was dumb enough to go into a stranger's a house. Okay, fine. We don't know how old he was, but don't talk to strangers. Don't go inside their houses and don't walk into oh, their man, ovens. Oh, man, not the horse. Yes, let's not go there yet. Okay, <laughs> do you remember our BBQ guy? Remember him? Yeah, sort of. He, like, runs into the door and then he hangs him on the hook. And some weird things. I, I, um, I forget his name. That was really weird. So I'm 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 gonna say a C. I he didn't even talk. He just went. Rrr, rrr, rrr. He can be a D or C. It's not very important. So you can put him as a, okay. maybe a D. Yeah. Well, actually, you put him as a C because there's gonna be a lot of D's. 
coming up. You think? What about, oh yeah, the little, like, boy that looks like an embryo that, like, had a crush on Sailed Fingers and Sailed Finger made him cry because he wouldn't a bee, be with him. For sure. Or a C. I remember that. Um, oh, oh, um, what was the, the beetle bug's name that he said was, like, his sister and then he smushed it? Why can't I remember any of the names now? I wish it would tell you their names. Um, we're just gonna look things up we don't know. Salad Fingers Beetle. No, I don't want to think of that video. Is she a beetle? What would you call her? Cockroach? Let's go to the Sailed Fingers wiki. This is what we need. Bordeaux! Is that how you say it? Bordeaux? Bordeaux? Bordeaux. 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 Yes. He addressed her as his little sister, but when he touched her, he squished her. So he did kill her, but it was just this little... Little wood, ha uh, wood louse. That's what it is. So, what do you think? <sighs> Probably a C. Possibly a D. Um, Actually, okay. there's really not too much relevance, so maybe a D. I feel a little bad, though. Fine. It's a creature that died at Sailed Fingers. Yes, fingers! We're bringing him up to it. Now, this looks like, oh, that phone that he was, like, talking to, but it wasn't connected. That was pretty funny, and I'll say C. The little girl that he had that picnic with who, she was like, creepy. didn't talk. and. D. Yeah, she was a little creepy and gross. Uh, the Crows, that was the same episode. The crow that came and took his rusty spoon Since at that picnic. Since he took the spoon, that automatically bumps it up to a C or a B. Probably a C. Okay. Oh, the poor horse. The poor horse. That definitely can go to an A. I That's feel one. so bad for the horsey. It was brutal. Okay, this is one of, you know, the scene, that's the sailed fingers that he, like, ate and looks like he's about to decapitate. Oh, yeah. It's like a version of a sailed fingers. D, because it's weird. Um, okay, his long-lost brother from the war. Uh, D. The corpse. Yeah, we don't like corpses. The radio. B. Funny that that's a character, but sure, we'll give the radio a B. Uh, his tree son, his tree child. Oh, Daddy! yeah, a, a, Daddy! That's, that's an A or an S. No, uh, not an Hubert. Okay. We'll give him an A. Um, oh, his baby. I think her name. It was Yolanda. Or that something. was the weirdest thing it I've was ever out seen. Out of his stomach. Oh my but god! But it was just like a wrapped sandwich. It was. It was just yeah. It was covered in newspaper. Uh, it was so disgusting. I'm putting it as a D. Agreed. The mean doctor that chopped up the horse. D. Yeah, we hate you. I told you it was going to be a lot of Ds. Um, the table of salad fingers eating. That was really part. weird. That can eating go to a D. Parts. That can go to a yeah, D. Yeah, no, no. Okay, the that little thing. boy he made out of Hubert. Oh. He took all the skin oh. from oh. this guy here. That really disturbed me so that goes to a D. Flush, the little flush oh. boy. Just check. Okay, um, this is another version of a Sailed Fingers that has like no teeth. D. Um, this is the creepy mother. C. I would say C because it wasn't as disturbing. She and did play she, a role. She did play a role, and it was actually kind of like 
moving the storyline along so that can go up to a C and I forgot what that is. Yeah, what was that? I don't know, it's a weird looking thing. I can't really remember. Does it on here maybe? On the wiki? Right here, Mark Dimeline. Mark Dimeline is ref a character that appears in the market episode. He erupts from the grounds at the market stall when Salad Fingers is trying to sell stuff. He has a distorted, gurgling voice and asks for a glass of water. And then Salad Fingers accuses him of trying to take advantage of his good nature. So Hubert gives him a glass of water and then goes back in the ground. So it just looks like another victim of Salad Fingers. So that could be a C. Yeah, he just needed some water. Look how dried out the guy is. So now that we've went through all these different characters, we're left with the main guy. The Salad Fingers. So What do we think of Salad Fingers? Okay, so let's go through the rankings. I would not necessarily vote him a D because he is the main character and it's what the series is about. But he does not, he is not anywhere close to Hubert Cumberdale. So he will not be an S. Or an A in that, as a matter of fact. But I believe he is not as, like, the C... Those people are not really main characters. No, They're maybe... part of the storyline a little bit. I would say... B. B. Right we'll in the we'll of the line. give him a B. It's not it's not that we don't like Salad Fingers. He's the main guy, he's the story, he's he's, he's got, got some he's got a past, he's went through a lot, we get it, but he does literally kill children. And so we can't put a child a mentally murderer Ill guy. in the S tier. Sorry. Mentally ill person. No one can top Hubert, and I think this is clear. But if you disagree, let us know how you would rank some of the main characters. Put it in the comments, start a discussion, like this video, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Bye.